Guys got a new toy for you to check out. This is the Anytone AT6666. As you can see, it's a, either a big bracket I got or it's a small radio. <laughs> it's actually a really small radio. This right here is a Magnum 1. That's how much bigger it is. And then it's a little bit thinner. Not by much, but thinner. I took the bracket and I put it upside down and then I put my little uh, wing nut on there. It's like a mount my external speaker. Yeah, I'm in the truck. I'm 613. You'll probably hear me out there. Usually I'm in Connecticut, but today I'm at a TA in Middletown, New York. The truck stops filling in, it's getting dark out. <coughs> anyway. Oh, I got a Monkey Made 4. That's what I talk on. This little guy right here packs quite a bit of punch with a lot of features. Let me go over a couple little knobs here. As you can see, there's only like three knobs, but there were du two of them are dual functioning, like this one right here. This is your RF power in the back. RF gain in the front. Squelch in the back which I like this squelch system because you know you got your main squelch and then when you turn it all the way over it goes to automatic squelch so and it actually picks up and rejects a lot of noise and then on the front knob in the very front you got your RF gain or clarifier I mean I'm sorry RF gains on that one I'm sorry and then you obviously got your volume knob. So, as you can see, it's on band A and it's at 28 megahertz. Let's convert it. Shut it off. When you get it, if you ever buy one, which is a really great radio, and you want to play with it, as you can see, it's got memory, mode, band, and frequency, menu, scan, dual watch, and emergency. Hold the menu button and the band button, and then flip it a radio on. It'll come up to this menu. Menu or C HF or CB band. Hit, hold, select either or, and hold the menu. Boom, it's unlocked. All right, you got bands A through J. Band D is CB, all right? Alright, well, let's go through some of the settings. First thing I want to do is shut that god awful beep up. So every time you turn it, let's shut that thing up. Hold the menu button. First thing coming up is the beep. Shut that off. Ah, nice and quiet. Indicator, transmit indicator, SWR, timeout timer, time remaining, and DC voltage. I like to leave it on SWR. Microphone gain goes 1 through 36. I like to leave it right around 25. Go the other way, NOG. There's 32 levels of that. I like to leave that off. Timeout timer. Let's get rid of that because I like to yap. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Transmit SWR protection. I like to leave that on. Why not? Transmit DC voltage protection. I like to leave that on too. And this is for the the scan FIN. Now this is for the fine tuner. Like I said before, the clarifier is on the front. You can set that up so it does nothing but receive or transmit or receive and transmit like it's an open clarifier. I like to leave it off, to be honest, and I'll show you why. And you got color white, blue, green, red, yellow, purple, and cayenne. I like to leave it on cayenne. I just like that color. I don't know why. Transmit repeater offset. Oh, if you leave it alone for too long, it always goes back. Oh, while we're at this, well, that was just flashing. I'll show you. I'll show you why I like to leave that the um, the clarifier off. So this does absolutely nothing right now. 
but if you want to tune somebody in, you just hit that in, and you can tune them in either that way, or if they're really fine, you can turn it on. I like to just leave it on like that. All right, back into the menu. Transmit, repeat, offset. And then you got reset. Like I said, you can reset your options or you can reset the whole thing. Like I said before, that's how you reset it. I reset this so I can show you guys how easy it is to convert this radio. Now there is one of three menus that I just showed you. Let's hit menu and then push the channel selector in. PD, busy tone, I like to leave that off because I like to leave my squelch wide open. There's your repeater offset. You can set it so it's a positive or negative offset if you're on a repeater. And then your scan system where you can do the scan thing. I don't really use that that much and that's it for that menu. Now this menu right here, you hold the channel selector in and boom, high cut noise filtering. I like to leave that on, it gets rid of a lot of garbage. Noise blanker, echo, it does have echo. The adjustments for it are underneath the cover, which is one downfall about that radio. 10K C switch and Roger beep. I like the Roger beeps on this. I like number three. I like number three. <laughs> Pisses a lot of people off, but ah, what the hell. So that's it for that menu, like I said, hit menu and that. There's not really much on that menu, just, you know, the repeater offset, scan stuff, and busy, that's pretty much it. Nothing really that great. All right, now we're on CV bands. Let's go up to, uh, I don't know, the middle of the band, which is 20. Like I said before, it's on SWR protection. 1.0. Actually, I'm on FM right now, and I didn't even realize it. When I reset it, it automatically switches to FM. Yeah. So, now, if you hit frequency, it'll change between frequency and channel. Obviously, you got bands A through J. Let me unlock, oh, there you go. Bands A through J, it's got quite a big spread on it now now you can change everything individual not just that only one when it's on this one right here it's kind of like free banding but if you ever get lost you can always just go back to the bands <laughs> it's pretty cool Memory, you could program memories. Mode, obviously, that changes the mode you're transmitting on. AM, FM, upper, lower, sideband, and PA. It's got an emergency. Channel 9, 19. Push it in for a lock. So this way, when you go and do whatever, touch anything, it always shows up error. You can leave that unlocked. A dual watch function. There's your scan, and there's your menu. Overall, it's actually a really small radio. I really like it. I got it at a good deal, so I couldn't say no. I know, you know me, I'm always posting new videos on new radios, and this one's been out for a while, and I just happened to pick it up. On the back, it's got one hell of a little heat sink on it. No, I don't use the terminals in the truck. I got I got my own wire ran. The back's got a nice little heat sink and you know it's it doesn't have a quick disconnect power power cord which I don't like about it but ah what the hell got to do what you got to do. And then up here is the USB port. I'm not sure if I can zoom in on this angle. It's got a little USB port so you can program it for all your tones for the uh for the offsets and the repeaters and all that stuff. 
Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day in 73s. Hope to hear you on the radio.